Okay, here we are again. Welcome to Vlog and Novel for Fate Bound, episode two. Episode two of Vlog and Novel. Um, still working on the outline for the book itself. Say hi, Zach. Hi, Zach. Hi, ah, you did it. You made the joke that you're supposed to make. Um, we're in my. We're starting in my office today, not outside. Although we will go take a walk. Mm, no, we won't. At some point. <laughs> Probably not. Just around the neighborhood. Doubt it. I won't take him up the mountain again. He was complaining about a heart attack. I'm also eating, so if you hear the sounds of eating, I apologize. But I'm fucking starving, so there you go. I've never met starving. Is she hot? But ah! ah! Yes, but she has bulimia. It's no. actually a severe... It's that's, a problem. That's unfortunate. Problem. We're trying to help her. Um, okay, so I finished up the... Why do you make dad jokes? Why? You make dad jokes like Oh, that. of course. You're not yeah. our dad. I'm getting ready to be a dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, so... I finished up the beats for episode one mm-hmm. or episode 15 mm-hmm. and things took turns that we weren't expecting, dun, dun, da, da, da. <laughs> <laughs> but they're good. And I have those beats, right? You have them there in the Dropbox. And so I probably start writing in those tonight. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so we need to do a meeting on episode two or episode 16, Calvin. How I ended episode one mm-hmm. was they got the artifact of Earth. Okay. They Yinleth helped them figure out what Terrence was using them for, which we forgot when we were on our walk before. He was using them to bring back the wraiths. He needed, oh, so does he need one to... He like, needs one for each wraith. So he has the water and he has the mind, but he's not dead, so there's no mind one. That's why he was able to bring back the the water the water wraith. Ryko. So they steal the bracers. Does that mean he's not going to be able to bring back a lich for fire? Well, we're going to talk about that because you said you wanted them to leave the ring of Meridia in the temple. So uh, yeah. technically, um. Technically, it could be stolen, but something that I read in Blade's episode was he gets the ring, goes up to the sarcophagus, and says, I promise you, Terrence will never get his hands on this ring. Oh, well, then Terrence has to get his hands on the ring. (laughs) Which is just so fucked up. (laughs) We've got Blade through a lot of shit, and I love it. So, by leaving the ring in... By leaving the ring there... That that does that. Um, I decided I decided that Bonebreaker was going to go to the elves instead of uh, Black Scale because it it gives. Because us... when you think about it, he's making a promise to himself just as much as he's making a promise to the original Keeper of Fire. You know what I'm saying? Like, sure, it's a deeply personal thing yeah. as well. Right. So he he has to look at that and he you know he feels badly about it. So. He's breaking a promise to himself, yeah. if you, if you will. So they're with Bonebreaker. So with their bro- Bonebreaker, I didn't want to put Bonebreaker with Blade because that's two fires, right? In in one, and um, I also feel like Black Scale would either go with Sarah, or would go with Greystone, and Greystone's with the dwarves, so might as well go with the Greystone. What element did Black Scale have? Mind. Uh, no. Yes, I think mind. Didn't he get mind? I don't remember. Possibly. Probably. I think he did. But either way, we had Yenilith with mind and Tess with mind. Right. So. Didn't, uh, didn't, uh, I think whoever got mind. I think it was Black Scale. Because I think, I think so Calvin too. said something like, gonna have to ca- start calling him Pink Scale. <laughs> oh, that's right. He turned pink. <laughs> that's right. Um, so. Where I ended it off, what we talked originally about was ending it off with them arriving at the border of the Elven Kingdom at the end of Sarah's. But I think it's more powerful with it ending with them having gotten it and they are now taking off like they are being held up, held by uh, Bonebreaker and they're flying away and Terrence wasn't able to catch them. I also introduced uh, Shadow Shamans. 
who open can open a rift in space so that Terrence could come through it. So you have to have shamans on either end of this rift, and so he can walk through. And I realized you mentioned teleportation the other day. And you're like, well, then we'd have to introduce teleportation. We already introduced that with the crystal that Greystone used to get out of the hangman's noose in Midrow. Oh, yeah. 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 So I thought I thought shadow shamans would be cool because I didn't want to use a crystal. Right. And that way, when they actually get into a fight... They're supposed to be super rare, too. Right. And when they get into a fight, the shamans open up the rift and fucking just everything comes through. And they're like, we can't do it. We got to get going. And then they have to, and they have to back away. And that's the end of the second last chapter. I like that. Yeah, that's and, cool. And we and and we'll have Ryko show up in that, and that's when the other list is like, okay, I understand what you guys are saying, but I'm concerned about that. Right. What is that? And then like, well, it's, it's a lich, but I mean, there's right. an army. There's terrors. No, 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 no. We need to talk about the lich for a second. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Why did it have such control over uh, over water? Right. You know. And then I also had Barius. Like, he says, like, Yeneth is thinking, and he goes, what happened to the other Realm Keeper's bodies? And Barrys is like, they were stolen, or they fell. And he's like, are you sure? He's like, yeah, I was there. And then everybody's like, what? You were like, there? Yeah. Because we only know that from the Barrys short story, which pre-orders get. Right. Um, <laughs> yeah, so pre-order. <laughs> um, but... Never not marketing. Yeah. If, if, <laughs> if you guys want to read the Barrius short story, pre-order this book. And I believe we're giving all three short stories. We have one of Greystone, one of Barrius, and then the one that we'll write for this book. But uh, Barrius goes over the fall of the previous Realm Keepers. Basically. Uh, from his perspective. I want to ask, did you think about this? And yeah. put this in the beats. Because this is something that was like a major plot point in Wormspire, but yeah. that like <clears throat> we kept forgetting about and had to keep going, had to go back and add throughout all the story. The rune stones. Right. Uh, I assume that they left them with the dragons. And I say that because only the keepers can touch them or whatever. And. Is that true? I thought it was. Though Terrence was trying to get them, but he didn't touch them. He just wanted to kill the Realm Keepers. One oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah, okay. So the reason why I was going to leave them there is because it's like there's no reason to put them back. Or if they do go back, they can transfer themselves back because they transferred themselves to the dragons when you put them on the pedestal. So I, I, I had thought of it, but I was like, I feel like it's kind of a unneeded detail that's... Yeah, good call. Yeah. Okay. Um... So, oh, and then, so with the, I, I also noticed that Greystone in uh, Blade's episode in Midrealm, he talks about how someone had gone to great lengths to hide these tombs, which means that they, they weren't hidden originally. They were just tombs. Yeah. So what I did was... And Malice's was still out in the open, but the other ones were very... Right, but Malice's was protected by like this water, or there was water around it or something like... There's a moat. There's a moat, Okay. Um, but everybody knew what it, where it was, but the sure. other ones were all like, yeah. Yeah. So this one, um, named for, we don't have a name. I couldn't find a name. Yeah. Some, some, whoever the realm keeper of earth was, um, it has a tree in like, there's the opening to the tomb and then there's a tree where the opening is. And then Terrence comes through like, like, <laughs> A shadow walks up to it, and like, you, like Sarah sees this tree like swoop down, and just like kill the shadow, and then like when she tells tells Calvin, he's like, "Wait, are you telling me there's a whomping willow in Morrow Dust or in Midrealm?" Um, and then when they see, and then like it, it, we see that it basically kills a hellion. I think it'd be hilarious if you said that, and everybody's like, "What are you talking about?" Blade's like, "Whomping willow, second Harry Potter movie." They're like, <laughs> "What?" He's like, "What a." Don't tell me you haven't seen the Harry Potter movies. Like, we've all I seen them. Films. We've all seen them. We've all seen them. <laughs> Maybe I'm the only one who talks about it, but no, we've all no. seen them. <laughs> um, and then, like, he, it kills a hellion. And then when Terrence shows up, he, like, Sarah's like, Maybe he won't get through it. And Raven's like, Right. <laughs> and he's like, Because <laughs> Terrence just... <laughs> is really good at being defeated by obstacles that are meant to defeat him. Right. And it, it just blows apart. And he, like, like all the shadows cheer. And he turns around. And then the, sh the stop sh cheering, 
and he turns back around and there's two trees and right and they hit him he's like poof and he gets up and kills the shadow that he talked to before and then he blows those two up and then four trees pop up and then and then he keeps doing it and Kevin's like you'd think for the leader of the dark armory he'd be a bit smarter <laughs> I think maybe I think maybe after the second time he would stop because I think yeah. as the leader of the Dark Army he he is a little <laughs> bit smarter than that. I I feel like he was just mad. <laughs> yeah, but but uh, but yeah, it's yeah. A, it's like a Hydra enchantment. Yeah, and that's what that's how Calvin describes it. Um, and this will what I thought would be really cool about this. What I figured this out with my dad because I needed a sounding board yesterday and you were on a walk, but um. What I figured when we do the thousand years you say in the that future, with the same tone of voice you'd say that like somebody like you were doing drugs, you were doing <laughs> you were on a walk, you were on a walk. Okay. We're gonna have to have I know a, what you were doing. Yeah. <laughs> um. So when we do the book a thousand years in the future of whoever that is, I thought it'd be really cool if like at one point they had to go to the um tomb of the Earth of Earth, but now that small area is now like a hundred mile forest of stone oh they're stone trees by the way um oh. yeah okay um now it's like a hundred mile forest so it's like over the last thousand years people have been like destroying them and then they pop up and they just fucking multiply so it started from we saw it in wait this. so all the other tombs have this no it's just this one okay J- just earth okay yeah and that's why it's stone that's why the trees are made of stone because mm-hmm. yeah you know, controlling stone um, I also was thinking, I don't know if we want to use it in this book, but Sarah should quicksand somebody or things. Um, and uh, also she can like fucking make glass, which my mom pointed out. Mm. <laughs> She's like, she can control glass. And I was like, oh, that's a good point. <laughs> could do that. Could do that indeed. Mm. Anyway. Oh, and then uh, so she gets into the tomb and uh, it's a massive room. And you know the terracotta army? Uh, from China that uh-huh. were in the emperor's tomb. It's like that, but stone. And then, uh, you know, that tells a story basically about how that keeper or the, uh, yeah, that keeper, he was known to like have an army of stone. Like he controlled an army of stone. Cry, cry. So we can bring that about later on as well. That's awesome. Yeah. And then they find the braces and get it the hell out of there. Cool. So then we start with Calvin. Now we can start with Calvin with, they were a couple days out of the elven boundary when they ran into the shadows in this episode. Mm -hmm. So we could either jump ahead because Terrence isn't going to be following them because he's going after the the artifact and he, they're also with a dragon and they flew off. Um, or we can pick it up from them traveling and then we can do another traveling section. But I honestly think that just being like, you know, another two days we entered the Elven Kingdom or whatever, the borders. Cool. But I just wanted to see what your thoughts were on that. Yeah, no, that's fine. Just like summarize the traveling. Yeah. Cool. And then what are we doing on Calvin's? Well, they're meeting the elves. Right. And they have to... They're there to try and convince them to join the alliance to beat off, to beat to to defeat chaos. Beat off chaos. Like my all, favorite pastime. Like all of them, all of them at <laughs> once, or, or are we just like like Terrence? Like what's is this a group Stick thing? Stick it in his rift. <laughs> Hilarious. Um. And the elves uh, obviously don't want to join the alliance. For right. reasons. But then we need an entire another episode devoted with Raven. So I just well, don't get it. Episode two is they try and they, they lose, and then episode three is they try and they have some victory. The elves still aren't ready to join them, but like they have accomplished something. And then they get the call from the others You need to come to the Dwarf Kingdom like right the hell now. Okay. So they try and they lose. Yeah, it's like some sort of failure and then some sort of victory. Neither one is total, obviously. Right. But, um, <clears throat> like we did with the dragons. Yeah. Um, you know, we could bring in, we could bring in, uh, or with 
or, or like we did with, um, like at the end of Calvin's episode in Wormspire, he pisses off the goblins and gets half of the realm keepers thrown under the earth and into, you know, like uh, underground caverns full of lava and goblins and shit like that. Right. You know, and it's like deep fucked up big time. Yeah. And this time it doesn't have to be someone, it doesn't have to be him who fucked up, but yeah. it, the group does something that is not not good okay um that reminds me another thing that i want to make note of for the future is probably like maybe the electricity um uh, artifact or something like that is what like it's underground but when they go to it and they find it it's in the center of a massive goblin city with like a goblin king like a tiny little like fucking annoying yeah (laughs) Yeah. um and like it used to be a tomb but the goblins just built a city around it because they're like oh it's a (laughs) pre-thing you know so i thought that'd be cool cool yeah um okay so they're gonna oh goblins so every time i remember that scene i just cannot fucking stop laughing um so we're gonna introduce anna and and briggs again in with calvin i think yeah and um now originally when we first started uh story meeting on this a year and a half ago we talked about the hooded lady yes i'm not totally down with that idea what the idea that we came up with yeah i don't remember what idea we came up with good well then i won't remind you <laughs> okay <laughs> um so we're going to enter this like I'm just thinking with a twenty twenty five thousand word episode uh-huh you know if we have one we're not gonna have i feel like we're not gonna have a lot of time on earth this this book compared to previous books, okay, and the reason why I think that is also justified is because we have Anna and Briggs, and we were gonna start putting more more crap happening on that aspect around book four um with like miles's mom and all that crap she's a lawyer right yeah so yeah, um, i can't wait for that to happen yeah it's gonna be interesting so <laughs> with that we're gonna have we'll introduce them again so we can have at least one chapter Maybe a chapter and an, and a half of a chapter um, for Earth, but I don't know. I feel like I feel like Calvin's chapter is gonna be very political unless we put something in it. Could be very political. It's, it's oh, very political, very talking, very not much action going on. Yeah. Was, okay, I see what you mean. Yeah. take the picture for to go on the video to go on the video no photos I, I just took it nope no photos Um, well, nothing's threatening the elves, right? Terrence is trying to take everybody down one at a time. So the dwarves might be under attack, but the elves aren't. Right. Um, Unless they are. They aren't. What if they're not under attack by chaos? That, okay. What if they What could they be under attack by? Oh, what by if... the way, we have one of the uh, races is called the Magi. Did we say that? Uh, in Midrealm, we did. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> So I guess they're the ones that we're thinking of as the ancient ones. No, because then they talk about the forgotten ones, which are the ancient ones. All oh, right, <laughs> uh, but, but but we don't name Goliath, so I guess Goliaths could also be called the Magi. <laughs> so we're gonna have to look into that. We really need to update our character sheet and every like I'm going through like because I was writing Sarah's school. You know what I wish we chapter, had? and I'm like what. 
teachers does she have? You know what I wish we had? I wish we had Story Shop. What Story Shop, Garrett? Oh, man. I can't talk about it. <laughs> you know what Story Shop is? I do. Okay. Has it been released? No. Oh, okay. Kickstarter's still going. Oh, okay. Kickstarter's still going. <laughs> I actually haven't even looked at the Kickstarter. I haven't looked at it in days. They were over halfway. They were well over halfway there. What's Let's the, look it up. What's their goal? 80. 80? <clears throat> mm-hmm. Wow. And they make fun of you for Kickstarter. I was about to say. <laughs> my goal was five. A <laughs> <laughs> little bit different, though. Yeah. A little bit different. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, I'm looking forward to it because I, I use... Um, there are 57, 57,637 out of 80,000. Nice. With eight days left, they'll hit it. Um, I use a novel idea, but it hasn't been updated in years. Like, yeah. I'm friggin', I need, I need more, <laughs> you know. Here's so. a fun fact. I have access to the Kickstarter. Like, yeah. I can get in the back end, right? Yeah, you, know, you can. This photo of the yeah. three of them, I seriously want to go in. Take this photo, Photoshop myself in behind there in that little empty space on the left, and repost it. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be I'm awesome. Do it. Maybe I'll Photoshop it, and then you can upload. But I won't do. <laughs> You've seen my Photoshop skills. Remember with uh, what Your was Photoshop it? skills Fu- are pretty good. <laughs> Fu- uh, Fast and the Fuhrer. <laughs> uh, the f- Vin Diesel, Paul Walker. The fast and the furious. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought it was funny because I found a perfect picture with perfect lighting, exactly like, like the uh, poster. Was, you don't hold a candle to Dave, though. Back in the story shot, uh, storytelling podcast days. Yeah. <laughs> Hindenburg crashes. Pilot was me- reading Midrealm. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Hitler holding a copy of Midrealm. Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber. No. Yeah. Yup, 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 yup. That's hilarious. Um, okay, so yes, I'm concerned about there not being enough and it being Calvin. See, uh, just for those listening, uh, Garrett actually wrote. I didn't do any beats on Calvin in Midrealm. Garrett did the whole thing, whereas like Raven, I just went ridiculous about, and there wasn't very much variation off of that, off of my beats on that. But I didn't do anything with with Calvin in Midrealm. It was all you. Really? Yeah. I did not remember that. Yeah. We actually... That was all you and... Was it because you were like, Jesus Christ, I deal with you every day. I don't want to write a whole fucking episode about you. <laughs> no, I think it's because you're like, I know this character better than anybody I'm going <laughs> to... And I'm like, take it. <laughs> that sounds like me. It was something like that. Does you know? definitely sound like something I would say. Um... Whereas Raven, we both didn't want anything to do with her. And I was just like, okay, how do I make this epically amazing? (laughs) So, yeah. Calvin. What was Calvin's... Oh, Calvin's episode in Wormspire. He had been... He had been... Kidnapped. He meets Briggs and Anna. And we got Goblins. Wasn't there anything else besides that? Because was in terms of in terms of what now? Action. Wasn't there? Did did Calvin? Um, he screwed something up. There, there was a there was a. Okay. They were in the woods, and they heard something, and they went and checked it out, and there was a troll going for a dude in a tree, and the oh. dude in the tree was Yinalith. That was that was Calvin. That's yeah. Calvin's episode. So he attacked the troll, and the mm. troll like almost killed them. And Sarah was super pissed. Right. Super pissed. Right. And in mid realm, he dealt with a hellion. Yeah, like practically solo until right. Blade showed up, and he was just like, "I'm so glad you're here." <laughs> <laughs> right. Calvin's fucking awesome. Okay. So he fights a Hellion in Mid Realm. He fights a troll in Wormspire. He fights a Chaos Dragon in Fatebound. Which By the way, down. Hellion to troll is down. 
Yeah. No, but it was a stupid fucking Hellion. It was a, it was a, it was a Generation One Hellion. Yeah, that's true. It was but dumb. Like, <laughs> but also in episode hey, two, guys. in episode in in mid realm episode two, he learned like he started learning how to use magic. That's right? true. That was cool. Yeah. Warm Spire episode two, he learned how to fly. Remember that? That's right. So we have to have something else. The fucking Iron Man. <laughs> and he learned how. To, and he learned how to. Um, how to like blanket in in Blade's episode. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. So did test. we should bump up his skill. What sucks is that I did a Google search on um like bending, you know, like Avatar. Mm-hmm. And like, okay, so what can these what can the elements do? And like earth bending was like sand and metal and you know, earth and rock. Air is air. And they can do a veil <laughs> of something. And I'm like, okay. Uh, that sucks. I was thinking maybe like a mirage type thing. I mean, that's more of heat, but it can also be like he could bring like heated air and like cause a mirage. Yeah, or, I like that, actually. Um, well, you also have to think about it like <clears throat> like there's crossover between all of the elements, right? Right. And if you are of like a scientific mind, you can, th- there's ways to sort of like make a lot of shit a lot of you know a lot of different things happen right like he could i don't know <laughs> <laughs> i like it he could he could not um he wouldn't be able to like summon lightning but he could create low pressure air systems that would that would cause a thunderstorm oh yeah i had that thought yesterday as well where yeah. he could create clouds cuz it's just it's low pressure right um what else has to do with air? Vacuums. Uh, I think we did that already, where you like pulled the breath out of like a shadow and it just like crumpled or something. Yeah. Um, tornadoes. We've tried that. I mean, clouds would be cool, I guess. Like, maybe the crows are there, and he, like, summons and get, makes, like, a cloud cover. Or, like, he could do, like, roll, like, a low rolling fog. He's in, Okay, what does Storm do <laughs> without electricity? Other than actual, yeah, like, lightning and whatever, she she does storms. Yeah, um, like, fog shit up. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then there's always, like, the whole, like, plates of air, like, making right. air solid. Right, well, I'm looking for something that he hasn't done before, so it would be something that's new that he would think is awesome. Like, mm-hmm. obviously flying is is one of the top. You he know? could make, like, he could make a fucking invisible staircase that other people could climb, because he can just fly to the top of the tree, right? right? Let's say the elves have, like, you know, one of their, like, treetop houses, yeah. and they just, like, jump up the tree. But he's like, you guys want to just, uh... And they're walking, and they can't, like, it's... It's invisible air, you know? And they're just like, oh my god, Calvin, if you let me fall, I will fucking destroy you. Well, see, we kind of did that in Worms, or in Midrealm, when, when he raised them up the side of the castle at, in Faya. Oh. And, and Blade was like, if you drop me, <laughs> yeah, exactly, <laughs> we'll be dead, but I'll kill you again. Yeah. Um... But I like like I like the like bringing the fog about. I think that that's a good idea of like if they have to get away from something. Right. He can. He well, can... if the elves are under attack by something, right. not chaos, but something, um, they could they could run into that, right? Yeah. Like they could be like approaching the elf kingdoms, and you know, it's like you'd th- I'd think we'd have been approached already, mm. but there's something making its way through the forest, like towards the elves, and they sort of know about it, so they've like fallen back. So they run into the thing, yeah. whatever the thing is. Okay. T Rex. T Rex, I love it. Dinosaurs. Yeah. Dinosaurs never died in we, mid realm. Yeah, They're there. there. We already have we already have uh Saber Tooth Tiger, so um I like that. Okay. That would that's a good introduction, I feel, into the Elven Kingdom. I wasn't it's... serious about T Rex. No, no. I okay, like okay, I like the okay. fact that, that they haven't been approached because yes, good. it was like right when they stepped over the borders, then they were like <laughs> and then right. just L's everywhere about yeah. to kill him. Yeah. You know, but if they don't get approached and Yenef is like something's wrong. Right. You know, so if um, we'd been thinking if we'd it, it would have been really funny if they stepped into the elven borders 
and like all the elves pop out from behind trees like with bows and arrows. Ha ha! They take a step back. Oh, and then it's lower, lower the bows and arrows. <laughs> take a step forward. Ha ha! <laughs> take a step back. Okay, it's it's not just the side. It's not funny. You in or out? Shit or get off the pot? Come on, let's <laughs> do it. Okay, so what would be making its way towards them? I don't know what would be making its way downtown, walking past faces, passing them homebound. Get out. Get out. Do, 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 do. Leave. Do, do, do. Authorship over. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. And I need you. Bum, 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 bum. I miss you. Anyway. Awkward. No, do not do that. <laughs> Um, <laughs> ba, 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 ba. No. And now I wonder. I think Alex is here. If I could fall into your butt. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. Yeah. Okay. So, something big. Something elves can't just be like, hey, oh, and they also wouldn't kill it. Like, el- I mean, elves are going to kill it, obviously, if it's like going to kill and present them, danger. But yeah. They're very much like. Yeah, like, you know, it didn't kill the trolls. You yeah. know, when he was trapped up the tree, he was like, I'll just wait till it goes away. He could have shot it. He could have done, he could have, you know, murdered the thing. Right. But he was like, nah, whatever. It's just the trolls. Just doing its thing. Just doing, just doing its thing. Just doing its thing. So. They could save the tr- the elves from whatever it is. Not even like save. You no, know? I mean like stop the thing, which means that at least now the elves will be like, we'll hear you out. You know, because, and, and whatever. Then we have the whole like humans aren't to be trusted. They're going to run the other way when. Here's what happens in Calvin's episode. They find out about the threat and they're like, we'll help you. And the elves are like. No. And they're like, no, 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 we'll go take care of it. Don't worry, we'll be right back. So they go and they try to take care of it. Somehow they fuck up. And they're like, uh. And the elves are like, okay. And they close the gates to their kingdom. And they're like, but piss off. Piss off. Just go away. And that's the end of Calvin's episode. And it's like, oh, man. And then Raven's episode. Then the things, whatever the things are, like grow in power and whatever. And like attack the city. And then the realm keepers leap in and save the day. And the elves are like. What kind of city I'm... are we thinking of? We're thinking of like Lord of the Rings town what's it what's that place called Lothlorien or Rivendell I don't know whatever place in my axe oh that was Rivendell that place are we thinking like something like that could be something like that it could also be something like Lothlorien where the um the white elf queen was right in place of the dark lord you would have a queen not dark but beautiful and terrible as the dawn it was like big ass trees and stuff yeah that whole thing I mean that's very cool we can also come up with, I don't know, something else. We should reread the scenes. We should reread Calvin's episode. Is it Calvin's episode? Raven. Raven's episode with the elves from Wormspire and see what we what we said about them at that time. I just remember that <laughs> Raven grabbed the elf queen or whatever her name was around the neck and just electrocuted the shit out of her. <laughs> mm. Everybody else kind of being like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> A little, uh, a little, uh, a little pent up. Who went there? Super Saiyan in Blade? Went Super Saiyan in Wormspire, right? Yeah, he went like f- did the Ra- finale. Right? Did Raven in her episode? No. Did Tess? No. Oh, yeah, episode? she did. Yeah, Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. In Who's going Super episode? Yeah, I don't know. Like while they were fighting, I thought she right. had gone Super Saiyan. I don't know. If I feel like somebody was like wrapped up in something or other, or maybe I wrote she went Super Saiyan and we didn't put it in there. I think so. Who's going Super Saiyan and Fate Bound? I think Tess. I think Tess did go Super Saiyan though. She did. She did something. Pass mm-hmm. me Worm Spark. Um, I think it should be Miles, because we do want to start beefing him up and everything. And if That's we true. give him a story arc that gets him to Super Saiyan, it's automatically going to come with like, oh, that was. That was dope. That was that was super dope. Oh man, he just drowned like a hundred fucking shadows right there. And also, if it sounds bad to say this, but I think one of one of Miles' big redeeming qualities in this book is going to be if we develop him and Melane a little bit more. Okay. I wanna to talk to you about this. Here's what I wanna to talk to you about. Okay. 
We talked the other day about Raven and her love story. Oh, okay. Okay. We can't... No, we could. We're not going to have everybody have a love story. Right. Okay. So that those who don't have a love story will be Sarah and Raven. And Now, when you say don't have a love story, like, like to my mind, Sarah's already had a love story. I'm talking about, like, a love story like Miles and Tess and Blade have. All three of them together, yeah, three huh? Something, yeah. Giggity. <laughs> That's coming up later in books. Polyamorous. <laughs> um, hey, man, if you're all right with it, I'm all right with it. And Des is just like, mom. <laughs> right. The main, the main um, romance, I feel, of the of this series is Blade and Tess. Absolutely. Absolutely. No question. Calvin's thing, I'm still on the fence about. But okay. We can discuss that. Miles's thing, I'm a lot more like we could totally do that, much much better about it. Ray, uh, Sarah, we know what's happening with her in the future. Yeah. Um. And. But with Raven, I like I don't want to. I definitely don't want to go overboard, but I also feel like I was thinking about it yesterday and her having a her her loving a person. Who she cannot have, mm-hmm. I feel, makes her a stronger character. Whereas Blade loving Tess, who he can have, makes him a stronger character. Because Raven's person is on Earth, whereas Tess is in Mid Realm, and Blade is protective. Okay. So, and I also just feel like too many dicks on the dance floor. Too, too many, many dicks, dicks and vaginas in the in the pot. Basically, so I feel I like, like that, and that yeah. can be like a recurring thing for her. But that does mean we got to strengthen Ember, then. Like it has we to are. be a thing. Yeah. Yes, and I and I put that in in Sarah's episode, and like, I mean, it's a small introduction, but it's the introduction of going like, Sarah's like, like she's at a point of going, you know, I actually might have time now for a social life, like, and she starts building on her and Kurt and being like, I mean. It's not like we're going to get married and blah, 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 blah. But if we do get married, I'm sure that he'll understand about mid-realm and then we could have kids and blah. And like she's looking at him and then this blonde floozy comes up in a sundress and like kisses him. And she's like, who's that? And Raymond's <laughs> like, that's, that's Ember. Ember. And then Sarah's like, what? <laughs> anyway, I think I also how I ended that chapter is fantastic because at first Raven's all poopy pants and and Sarah's like what's up and she's like ugh boys they ruin everything and then at the end of the chapter Sarah's like who's that that's uh, Ember and they start dating and whatever and then Raymond's like ugh boys and then Sarah's like ugh they ruin everything <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah yeah Raven just straight up kills the elf yeah just Fucking Turns her to barbecue. Just kills her. Yeah. I feel like she... I, I'm pretty sure that I wrote she was going Super Saiyan in that, but I guess she didn't. Um, Unless we forgot about while we wrote, when we wrote the the finale. But there is an earlier thing. Because... No, the, the, the fight goes off for... A... It would have been when yeah, she... Yeah, she goes Super Saiyan. It's right here. She does? Yeah, totally. So we had two people go Super Saiyan in Wormspire. Yeah. And they're blading Tess. Oh, no, Tess I'm doing a dance. I'm doing a dance. Tess, yeah. Oh, I thought you said Raven. No, not Raven. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. No, Tess has already gone... Tess went Super Saiyan in Mid-Realm, so she can go Super Saiyan. Yeah, like, sort of. Yeah. Whenever you go Super Saiyan, going Super Saiyan again is fine. Yeah. But Tess, like, Tess can't really... But it's, like, it's unlocking the Saiyan. Yeah, but also, like, Tess... I don't feel like Tess can really control it, and also is, like, really scared of it. Whereas Blade's sort of like, that was cool! Right. Can I... Can I... I wonder if I can do that again. Blades came about from extreme loss yeah well he thought Tess died right mm-hmm. exactly mm-hmm. so um, I meant like I didn't we didn't introduce new Super Saiyans besides one don't Blade and Tess kiss in Wormspire yeah at the end yeah they do yeah I was talking isn't Calvin it. standing behind them saying it's about time didn't he say that I don't remember <laughs> but that makes sense um yeah your eyes for those listening like mine, kiss my- from behind me I heard Miles mutter well, it's about time. Yeah. <laughs> that is taken directly from Animorphs. 
Oh, which yeah. for anybody who doesn't know, like, uh, we we have always thought like from the very beginning, I was like, I want Realm Keepers to be a lot like Animorphs, which was like my favorite series when I was a teenager. And I'm like, what's Animorphs? <laughs> I was like, get the fuck out. And then I read it and I was like, nope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but um, but I uh, um, oh, fuck. It's about time. It's about time. Right. So, in that series, there's these two characters who are, like, massively into each other, like, constantly. And uh, then the guy thinks that the girl dies. And then the, the, the rest of the book progresses, and, and she shows up. And everybody's like, how did you live? What happened? Da, 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 da. And he just grabs her and just max on her. That's so funny. And one of the other people in the group goes... It's about time. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious because what I think what I think is hilarious is that like I write beats that, I mean I read half of the first Animorphs book, mm -hmm. so I don't even have remotely the reality that you do with it. But I feel like I write beats that then you're like that's totally Animorphs. So I'm like really <laughs> <laughs> completely un because like the whole like her dying, he thinks she's dead, goes crazy, whatever, um, and then they kiss. Because I remember we were talking about, like, you're like, well, I don't think she should be dead. And I was like, no, no, it's perfect. This is why. And we were also going to have two Super Saiyans in the finale. And we're like, no, we have to keep the one. We'll do one per book. Yeah. So I think Miles this, this season will be good. And I also love, I love that after he recovers and he's like, she's alive, she's alive. Then he looks at his ring. He's like, you lied. You said she was dead. Oh, said Meridia, voice dripping with innocence. Did I? <laughs> <laughs> Is that when he throws the ring? Uh, There's a no. part where he throws the... Oh, that, that was before the uh, entire thing, actually. Doesn't it just come right back? No, somebody no, catches uh, it. No, Sarah picks it up. Yeah. Or, or, or Tess, one of them. Um, Gollum. Smeagol picks it up. Okay, so... What is this thing that is going into the Elven Kingdom? Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> we already said it. I don't know why. <laughs> Terrans. We Grace find them. out that rather than being, we find out that rather than being Earth, Midrum has actually been a mirror of Mars the whole time. <laughs> Third book of the night of the Realm Keeper series, Jurassic Mars, <laughs> The Martian. That's part a, two. That's a Hank and John Green joke. Actually, no. no. Don't don't watch them. They have a podcast. Okay. It's a great it's a great podcast. So Velociraptors. It's a great podcast. Velociraptors. No. Um We haven't seen any dinosaurs. Cows. We're not gonna have any dinosaurs. No. No, we're not gonna have any I wanna say that very clearly for the record. <laughs> okay. Then watch, we're gonna get to book six and we're gonna be like There has to be a what dinosaur. If we could have a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> what if Terrence like brings it back out Dino of from Flintstone shows up. Theoretically. <laughs> Theoretically, if she had a fo if she could get her hands on a fossil, theoretically, Tess could turn it into a dinosaur. I guess theoretically. Anyway, I'm just saying nothing's <laughs> off the table. You know what we should have? We need to have a line in Calvin's episode where like they're all like shooting their powers, and he's like, "Don't cross the streams." What would happen if you cross the streams? It would be bad. <laughs> I don't think we do need to have that. Uh, I don't I think, think we do need to have that. I think we need a Ghostbusters reference. Nope. <laughs> Ray, when someone asks if you're a god, you say yes! <laughs> <laughs> that I would be okay with. <laughs> um, uh, okay, so... Something big. Something wicked. Something wicked this way comes. Also, I want to update our forwards when we republish. Say again? Our forwards. My forward of Ditto. I would like to re-update re that. When we oh, I thought that was great. <laughs> I thought it was great for the first book. It was also put in the second book, wasn't it? No. Oh, no, wasn't. it was only in the second book. No, it was in the first book.
I don't even have a forward in the worm spire. <laughs> you actually didn't. <laughs> there you go. No, but you... It's definitely ditto in, in Midrum. No, give me, give me Midrum. It, it is, because that's when I wrote it. Give it to me. I remember you sent me like, here's my forward, write yours. And I read yours and I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> we wrote a an, an forward or author's note or some together thing back together. and forth. Right, right. We did do that. Where? Uh... Maybe that was a forward. Maybe it was a thanks or something section of, of Midrealm. Well, it's in the goddamn ebook. Maybe we wrote that afterwards. It's right there. Yeah. Right. No, ditto is, but the yeah. back and forth. Oh, the back and forth. I think that's this one, isn't nope. it? Really? Yep. To my baby. <laughs> you know why I do that, right? No. Um, so I used to get copies of our books and my books when I would, had Nightblade. Yeah. And I would sign them and give them to Megan. Oh, it was it was Ninja Bread Man. Oh, right. Good yeah. call. I would sign the books and give them to Megan. Yeah. And then I put them on my shelf. And then I'd get an order for a book and I wouldn't have any left. So I'd take Megan's copy and I'd ship it. <laughs> so finally, whenever I got a copy that was for Megan, I'd sign it. But then I'd also put to the sexiest woman alive or whatever. <laughs> then I'm like, well, I can't ship that. <laughs> Dave receives his copy. <laughs> what the fuck? I like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay, but we seriously need to figure out what the fuck this thing is. Oh, okay. It can't be a T-Rex, but you know what it can be? <laughs> a zombie T-Rex. <laughs> ah, a zombie magical T-Rex. Uh, what did we do with those ninjas? Were they zombie-esque? Remember I yes, wrote them as ninja. zombie ninjas. Yeah, that, yes, you did. <laughs> I was like, I can't say the words zombie ninja. That's I true. just actually can't type them. <laughs> uh. Let's look at D&D &D monsters. Beholders. Beholder. Calvin's like, we gotta go! <laughs> Weeping Why? What is it? Weeping, no, we have to go. Weeping <laughs> angels. Weeping angels. Fuck that shit. <laughs> Turn around, out of the forest. But the elves... Walk away slowly and don't blink. Don't blink. Do not blink. Not for a second. <laughs> But what about the elves? Elves can take care of their goddamn selves. <laughs> Get in the TARDIS. We're fucking leaving. What TARDIS? Shut up. Wow. <laughs> wow. What the hell is even happening? Dr. Winston. You know, it could I... be a dragon. It could be a dragon. Calvin's like, a dragon! Black Seal's like, Right here, bro. <laughs> oh, right, right. No, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> That'd actually be pretty funny. <laughs> you know, when I was figuring out the races, I used D&D &D monsters to, <laughs> <laughs> to think them up. Pass me Worms Fire. Monsters, Dungeons and Dragons.
Interesting. What are the Natiri? The Natiri? Oh, they were the they were the human army who uh, Greystone brought to help them in the final battle. Right. Of All right, we got elemental monsters. Oh, so here's something that I realized. I just looked at the word race. Okay. So, very simple definition is any one of the groups that human beings can be divided into based on shared distinctive physical traits. That's per this definition. Of what? Race. Race. I thought you said wraith. No. Race. I was like... No. <laughs> that, that is incorrect. <laughs> um, so we, like, because I've been running into something going like, oh, we have blah, monster. And I've been trying to, like, put like put them into a category of the races, the six races. But we don't need to do that because they're fucking monsters. Like, what are? I don't know. Goblins. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, totally. I was, I was running, and I was having a bit of trouble with that earlier. Did you say beholder earlier? Yes, I was joking. No, nope, too bad. No. <laughs> Mind flayer. An owl bear. You have kobolds. Orcs. Oh, we already did the we already did the Godzilla thing. What Godzilla thing? The Godzilla thing I told you, where he grabs the the mouth and pours his energy blast down its throat. We did. Uh, Bonebreaker did it in the final battle of Wormspire. He gra- he he literally bit a Hellion's face and blew fire through its body, just oh. melting the fucking thing. Didn't remember that at all. I need to reread that goddamn book. You should have reread both these goddamn books. <laughs> so should you have. I got farther than you. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, yeah. So black scale is the one is is the mind. He's pink. He still has the black scales that give him his name, like, you know, the patterns that mm-hmm. help recognize him. But he is pink. Nightcrawlers. I always thought that was a cool name. Or Nightwalkers. It's because you fucking love Nightcrawler. Yeah, that's true. Man, they don't have pictures. Lame. It could be a sort of, like, Beast Man type thing. Beast Man! <laughs> I have the power! Did He-Man have He-Man. a Beast-Man helper? <laughs> There's someone called Beast-Man that's very close to He-Man. Wow. Beast-Man. No! Oh! <laughs> it was Skeletor's right-hand man was Beast-Man. Oh my god, I'm awesome. <laughs> Masters of the universe. Alright, there's also Teen Titan. Okay, so we're still on this and we've now gotten off. We've now gotten off. Ugh. What would be something that the Yeah. Shadows, worms, deadly groundhogs, rabbits, foxes, wolves, dire wolves. There's a fuck ton of dire wolves. But direwolves are chaos. Yeah, they are. Um, it could also be something like sort of ambiguous, like, like 
uh, something, I don't know what exactly, but where Calvin's like, we just gotta help the elves beat the thing, and then everything's all good. And Sarah's like, yeah, but the thing, whatever the thing is, it's not bad. So, like, if the thing were, um, which it wouldn't be, but were, like, goblins, yeah. then Sarah's like, the goblins aren't evil, they're just there, you know? Like, we're not just gonna take sides in this war just because we need the elves, you know? Right. We could we could have it be hobbits. Bunch of little hobbits. Eee! Elves are like Fwang. <laughs> Rust monster. Minotaur? Well, that's sort of going with the whole beast man thing I was talking about. Like a minotaur type thing? Well, more like a... Uh, like if you actually just look up like beast men. Oh, like from DDO beast men? They have beast men? Oh, I'm thinking of the, no, the, wild, the wild men. The Remember those fucking... They were fucking scary. They like walked... They looked, they were clothed, but they are all torn up and they were like zombified and they're like <laughs> and they like chase you like that I do not remember that they scared the shit out of me massive centipede goat man <laughs> <laughs> I've got things sort of like that in Mystic, so I don't know if people would just be like, you're just using the same things over and over again. And then you say, well, listen to our thing, and... Be- and you'll hear me acknowledge that that is the case. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we could do some something undead. What the shit? Oh, hey, that's... What? Porn. Beastman porn? I was, yep. I was like, I was like, what are they doing? Oh my god, that's what they're doing. Rule thirty four. Bookmark. <laughs> um, I mean, they could arrive to the Elven Kingdom on a certain night or something, where like some undead thing happens. But where do, I feel like undead come from chaos. I don't feel like undead are just a thing, you know. Well, sure they are. Now, if they're evil undead, or maybe it's a random fucking like sorcerer, like a fucking random like that. I like a random yes necromancer, a witch, Baba Yaga. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but I like that idea very much. Okay. So like not, a, not Baba Yaga. A random, a random necro. Feel yeah. But <laughs> random necro. But a necromancer. What the, the, have we done? Necromancers? Is no. that a thing? Sure it is. I mean, wouldn't that just be a chaos wizard? No. I mean, I feel like a chaos. I mean, he probably could be hired by chaos, but. But if there's. We have it established that there's any kind of necromantic magic. Yeah, we I'm have concerned because glitches. I mean, yeah, now those are brought back by the elements, but they're only brought back by the elemental artifacts because they were kept realm keepers. Right. Otherwise, As opposed can, to just pure necromantic magic. Right. Where I mean, there's dark magic in the world. You know, when they in Barius's short story, when they found that cave, there was like an entire bulletin board of like all these old fucking like ancient dark magic shit but that was all chaos well the dark magic isn't chaos though but chaos 
makes it so that one can perform that dark magic easier. Oh, like right, because magic already existed in the world. Chaos just came along and totally right. fucked it up. Right, because now, here's the problem. Oh, yeah, Malice perceived work. in the future that chaos was going to come. And everybody was like, fuck you guys. You're, you're stupid. We're not helping you. And then fucking chaos came. Here's the thing, though. Let's figure out another angle on it, because I'm li- like literally the bad guy in Nightblade is the necromancer. So it's like, that's where I'm that's sort his, of like... That's his title? Yes. I am the necromancer. Yes. I'm a necromancer too. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm he's... the necromancer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, but it could be like some sort of dark wizard, evil sorcerer who raises the dead. <laughs> it's not like anybody that reads Roundkeepers reads Nightblade. You have a Yeti. <laughs> it's like a big old Wookiee. No, I like the idea of a dark wizard. Like, let's not just have it. Let's just not have. What's it the dark super... wizard going to be fucking doing then? What if he's like corrupting the forest? What if he's like turning all of the trees are going black and shit? Mm-hmm. And people are like, "Oh, well, it's chaos," but it's not. It's just. It's just. There's a killer bunny. It's just a bunny. <laughs> <laughs> We need the holy hand grenade! (laughs) (laughs) Three shall be the number of thy counting, and the number of thy counting shall be three. Two shalt thou not count, for then thine enemy shall have chance to run away from thy holy wrath. Four also shalt thou not count, for then thou shalt be blown into itty bits. Five is right out. (laughs) Okay, so he's corrupting the forest. Why do the elves not just kill him? Or do something to him? Because... (laughs) Ah, good point. Because they're... Everybody's rewinding going, what did he say? (laughs) (laughs) I didn't say anything. Um... (laughs) Because, okay, so we talked about this before, but, like, mind, right? Like, mind being one of the elements is sort of like, what? Mm -hmm. But what mind actually is, like, mind is just, like, how how people interpret it, right? Because they think, oh, mental powers, reading the mind, yada, yada, yada. But what mind... Yes. (laughs) Wait. Oh, I thought those were supposed to be the hobbits, like like Fro- <laughs> Frodo and Sam running from great. a Tyrannosaurus Rex. That would be incredible. Um, but what m- the the element of mind actually is is life. Sure. It's you know, mm-hmm. life, right? Um, and life is you know the mind and the soul and the everything like that. So if elves, if their element is the mind, is mind, then their power is based on life. What? Nothing. What? <laughs> Nothing. It's an inside joke between you and I and not for the listeners. <laughs> I have to pause now. <laughs> Sorry, Zach's an asshole. <laughs> I thought it was funny. It would have been funny if it was just right away. <laughs> I don't know if it would have. Um, <laughs> but... Um, and it definitely wasn't after pausing. <laughs> so if he is destroying the forest, trees are dying, animals are dying, sickness, illness, and everything like that, the elves are weak. Like, they are weak around him. And that's also cool because then when they, like, go after him and whatever, they have Yenilith with him. But Yenilith's like, oh, I don't, I don't feel so good at all. <laughs> I've got diarrhea. <laughs> I've got the squirts. I'm going to need some new leggings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just make sure you change your underwear, too. What are underwear? <laughs> <laughs> underwear, you know. You, you guys don't do underwear here? mid is fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> and then Kara's like, Kara's like, underwear? He's like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> commando. Warrior. Commando. No, no, I'm, I'm not a, like, I don't do secret operations. No, no. It means something else. <laughs> Trust me on this one. Oh, that's another line I put in there. Someone's, uh, Raven's like, it's not like we can just walk up there and tell the shadows, we called dibs on it. And then Darren's like, 
Who is this did? <laughs> <laughs> is he a mighty warrior who always wins on Earth? And Colin's like, something like that. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Whoever calls upon him usually gets what they want. Exactly. <laughs> so, um... Oh, God, I might take a nap after this. So he could have, like, corrupted, you know... Okay. All these beasts, right? So there's these, like, gigantic fucking plague-ridden bears or whatever the fuck that they're like, Ah! Plague-ridden? Plague, corruption, I don't know. Like, whatever you they're remember. bad. Yeah. Okay. I think plague-ridden, plague. I just think of, like, the bear, like, I don't want to get up. Uh, I'm too weak. <laughs> <laughs> throws up Ron was like I feel bad <laughs> you want to put it out of its misery no I don't want to do that I, I, I feel even worse but it's suffering I, everything about this is bad it's like kill me <laughs> <laughs> it 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 <laughs> <laughs> Karen just jumps forward ah stab it in the face <laughs> and then just falls over crying <laughs> Hey, I don't want to do this. She stops. I'm not dead. <laughs> what movie was that from? Oh, know. me, myself, and Irene. Do you remember that? Did you see that movie? I did. I remember that part. He has like a split personality, right? right? So, but he's being himself. He's being like his nice guy or whatever. And he's driving on his moped with the girl on the back. Is this little like police scooter bike or whatever the hell. And they see a, a cow lying in the road that's obviously been hit by a truck oh, yeah. or something. He shoots it in and the he's head. like, oh, well, it's a tough thing, but I got to put it out of its misery. Shoots it in the head. <laughs> shoots it, unloads the clip. <laughs> ah, and he like elbow drops it and starts that's punching right. it in the face. And then way at the end of the movie while the end credits are playing... They show a, like a newspaper clipping or a news show in the background, and it's like, cow miraculously survives assault <laughs> by crazed cop. <laughs> and it's in a neck brace. <laughs> I remember that now. Oh, man. I saw the movie when it came out. That was a long time ago. Yeah, me too. So, a cow. A cow. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay, I like this. I like this dark wizard. Um, but... Yes. But they could okay. But just so that there's like so that there's more than just like, oh, it's a fucking dark wizard. Like in book three, the solution, like they could lose to the dark wizard in episode two, right? Somehow. Mm -hmm. Some sort of failure that the elves are like, Yeah, pussies. Get out of get out of our get out of our kitchen. Can't stand the heat. Go so on. Book three, they find out that he actually is an agent of chaos like he's working for Terrence like Terrence sent him in to distract the elves while he's going to attack the dwarves right because he gives them the, the power dwarves. to overtake him what do you mean no. Continue. gives the realm keepers yeah. no but because they discover that and because Yenilith is there and he tells the elves that that's what happened they're that then when they get word that the dwarves are being attacked and it's like it was a trick chaos did it all along and our best friend our BFFs the dwarves are under attack kill them all okay <laughs> just like that <laughs> verbatim um I hate the idea of ending a book on them losing. <laughs> Which is just kind of funny. We've done it so many times. Have we? Yes! Have we really? Yes! Really, though? Yup. But seriously. Get out. Um. Okay. They do not win. How do they win? Ginnelith figures something out. Because he's awesome and I love Throw him. Throw water on him. He'll melt. <laughs> That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever... Sp <laughs> <laughs> I'm melting! Whoa, it actually worked. Miles is like, I did that. <laughs> I turned the water into acid. I can do that now. 
Okay. That's episode two. Yeah, I know. Is that enough for you to work on? Because it is 4.30 and I want to nap until dinner. It is... We're going to have to... Store, I feel like we have to story me on the ending of it, though. On the second one? Yeah. Maybe. But maybe you'll be working on the beats and you'll be like, oh, here's yeah. what happens. I mean, like, the whole... Ki- our whole idea of the king from change while I was writing. I was like, this is awesome! <laughs> <laughs> this makes the king so much cooler than he was going to be. He was going to be such a passive character before. Now he's like, I want to see him again. So. Cool. Good. All right, thank you for listening to this episode of Blog and Novel. Follow me on Twitter. At ZC Bulger with a U. No, no. With a no. <laughs> with a no. Bye, guys.